Hi, this is part three of how to play that shuffle in E. Now what we're going to do now is, this is more of a Chicago thing, this is, um, it's got very much a Muddy Waters kind of sound which Jimmy Rogers would have played on a lot of those records. Now what we're doing is we're taking that A7 shape, which you all know, but we're moving that up to play it as an E. Now that's where you would normally play an E bar chord, but we're not using that root note there because there'll probably be another guitar player or a bass player playing with you or you can always play the bottom E with your thumb so we're taking what would be an A7 chord but we're moving up here so it becomes an E7 chord which is a really cool sound on its own now to give it tension and release what you can do is you can actually play the root note or the tonic which is the E on the high E string at the 12th fret and so you can alternate between the tonic and the 7th which gives you a now already that's a cool sounding one chord so that's the E now to play the A what we're going to do is take this D7 shape here, we're going to move it all the way up here so that it becomes an A chord because A is the fourth of, of the key of E. So. so that's going from the 1 chord to the 4 chord or the E to the A. Now when you want to go to the 5 chord, the turnaround, which is a B, all we do, take that D7 shape, move it up two frets, and it'll sound like this. Now that's that real Chicago sound, that muddy water sound that I really dig. Now if you want to be really cool about it, you can put a turnaround on it, which I actually got off uh, Robert Johnson, which is... And what's going on in there, this is a lot to take on, I admit, is we're pedaling on the tonic, which is E here, but we're starting on the D there, which is the seventh, and then going down chromatically to B. So the turnaround would be. And then you resolve to the five chord. So to put that all together, it would sound like this. That's another cool way of playing that shuffle.